State's Jonathan Katz joins us live with more on the restrictions in the bill. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Jim and Julie. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, Illinois Governor Pat Quinn basically does not want a person to be able to carry a gun inside of a place that serves alcohol. So that affects a lot of different places, a lot of different restaurants, folks. One of them, the uh, Yankee Doodle here on 16th Street in Moline, but that's just one of the bars here on the street. Another restaurant that would be affected, folks, another bar too, the Belgrade here also on 16th Street, south of 23rd Ave in Moline. Two places where you would not be able to carry a gun legally if this bill were to go into effect. Now, the governor has been campaigning for his changes since last week while he's been in Chicago. His new bill would only allow residents to carry one concealed gun with one ammo magazine holding no more than 10 cartridges. Local governments would also be able to enact assault weapons bans if they liked. State Rep Pat Vershore says he will not vote for the governor's changes today. He told us there there is basically no chance that the governor's veto will stay the way it is either. Actually, I think he's playing with fire here because if uh, if we don't pass something, you know, it would go back to that appellate court, and then the judge would decide what the uh, I guess what the parameters would be or what the rules would be. All right, no word on how State Rep. Mike Smitty or State Senator Mike Jacobs will vote on the bill today, but the two did support the old bill before Governor Quinn made his changes last week. Reporting live in Moline. Jonathan Ketz, WQAD News 8. All right, thank you, Jonathan, to override that.